Hey there, fellow aquatic enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, I'm super excited to take you on a journey into the mesmerizing world of low-tech aquascaping. If you've ever dreamed of creating an underwater paradise without all the complicated equipment, you're in for a treat. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through each step of the process to help you craft your own stunning, low-tech aquascape. So, let's dive right in. The first step in our aquascaping adventure is all about tapping into your imagination. Picture yourself gazing into a serene aquatic wonderland. Lush plants, vibrant colors, and a sense of tranquility. This is your vision. Take a moment to envision the aquascape you'd love to create. Our aquascape stage needs a solid foundation, the substrate. Choose nutrient-rich soil as the base layer for your plants to flourish. Top it off with a layer of fine sand or gravel for that polished look. It's like setting the scene for your aquatic stars. If you want time to get your hands wet, grab some driftwood and rocks to sculpt the backbone of your aquascape. Creating varying heights and depths adds a touch of drama. Don't be afraid to let your artistic side shine as you arrange these elements. It's like Mother Nature's puzzle, but I would recommend you to do it because it looks beautiful and keeps the tank natural but I am keeping it simple. Now, let's talk plants. One of the magical aspects of low-tech aquascaping is its simplicity. Look for hardy, low-maintenance plants that can thrive without demanding excessive lighting or CO2. Think java fern, anubias, and cryptocorine. These are your green buddies in this adventure. Now, the moment of truth, planting your aquatic dreams. Begin by placing taller plants towards the back and gradually move to shorter ones in the front. This creates depth and perspective. Oh, and remember, a little spacing goes a long way give your plants room to grow. Let's make a splash. Gently fill your tank with water, being mindful not to disrupt your carefully planted setup. As the water clears, watch your aquascape come to life. It's like watching a masterpiece unfold. Carefully fill your tank with water, being mindful not to disturb the substrate and plants. Once filled, install your filter and heater. Now, you'll need to cycle your tank to establish a healthy nitrogen cycle. This process may take a few weeks, but it's crucial for the well-being of your aquatic e. In this tank we have changed the position of the filter and added more plants and left the tanker for the cycle for a few weeks. So we have added the fish in the tank. We have released guppy fish. You can add the fish accounting to your choice. Do your research before adding fish. Some fish may destroy plants. Fish suitable for aquascape are neon tetras, bomani and other. You must do your research before adding fish into the tank. Low-tech aquascapes require less maintenance compared to high-tech setups, but they're not maintenance-free. Regular water changes, about 10-20 weekly, will help keep the water quality in check. Trim any overgrown plants to maintain the desired aesthetic and ensure adequate light penetration. Be careful while changing the water because plants and fish may be disturbed while water change and the ECO system may get destroyed in this process. So after the water change, add the water carefully because adding water with force may destroy your plants. So add the water slowly without damaging the ecosystem. This is after the water change. The tank looks fresh and tidy. After a few months, I am adding shrimps in this tank. They help to clear algae. After a few months of adding shrimps, I have seen some baby shrimps and after a week later they began to reproduce like an ant colony. So 
So I decided to add giant guppy to control the population of shrimps. But after adding guppy the shrimps vanishes and I had to scrub algae fee on the toothbrush. So I added the bristle nose pleco to clear the ECO system fium algae. Ah, uh, patience the key ingredient in aquascaping success. As much as we'd love our aquascape to mature overnight, nature has its rhythm. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the gradual transformation. It's like watching a time lapse of life beneath the water's surface. And there you have it, my fellow aquascapers. You've now unlocked the secrets of crafting a breathtaking, low-tech aquascape. Remember, it's not just about the destination, but the journey itself. So, if you're ready to embark on this aquatic odyssey, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. For more aquatic inspiration and share your own low-tech aquascape masterpieces in the comments below. Until next time, keep creating and keep thriving. This is your host signing off. Thanks for watching.